To write the name for CO, we first have to figure out what type of compound we have. So if we look at the periodic table, we'll see that carbon right here and then oxygen, they're both nonmetals. When we have two nonmetals, that's a covalent or molecular compound. So we need to consider that when we write the name for CO. Since we have this molecular compound here, we're going to use these rules here to write the name. First, we write the name for both elements. So we write carbon, and then we'll write oxygen. Second, we're going to change the ending on that second element here, the oxygen, to IDE. So we're going to get rid of this YGEN and write IDE. So now we have carbon oxide. So we need to use prefixes, put prefixes in front of each element to show how many atoms are present. So for carbon, there's only one carbon. And this is kind of a special rule. When you only have one element like this, you don't write mono in front of it. We only use mono on the second element. But we do need to have a capital C since this is the first element in the name. For the oxide, we only have one oxygen here. It's not written, but we assume there's only one here. So now we use the mono. So we're going to put mono in front of oxide. But that looks kind of weird. So chemists, they get rid of one of these oxygens and just have carbon monoxide. So the name for CO is carbon monoxide. If you were given the name carbon monoxide, you know there'd only be one carbon and the mono, just one oxygen. And the formula would be CO. This is Dr. B with the name for CO, carbon monoxide. Thanks for watching.